Welcome everyone to German Tool Reviews. Today we have the Ochsenkopf Ox 635 H-3009. Ochsenkopf is the German term for ox head and hence the ox head in their logo. Ochsenkopf has been around since 1781 and claims to be Germany's oldest axe forge. The OX635 is a wood splitting hammer also known as a maul. The difference between a maul and a splitting axe is that a maul can also be used as a sledgehammer while a splitting axe cannot. Let's take a look at the markings on the handle. First we see the Ochsenkopf name and logo, followed by the Ghidorah logo, since they are a subsidiary of Ghidorah. The Big Ox trademark, followed by two test seals. The first, KWF-Professional, is awarded when it meets standards of work safety, ergonomics, environmental compatibility, and durability. The second, VPAGS, is a certification similar to CE that tests the product for safety compliance to applicable standards. On the other side, we have warnings for never beat steel on steel and do not use this tool for lateral leverage. Also reminding you to wear eye protection and use appropriate footwear when using the tool. Not stamped on the handle, but on the label, is the dry plate seal that indicates a high quality process controlled steel was used. Dry plates translates to three mushrooms in English. The H in the part number indicates that it uses a hickory handle, which is considered to be superior to ash handles for this application. The hickory handle is very nicely finished with a nice coat of varnish and painted on the end. The head is mostly painted yellow and includes a leather safety guard to protect the blade and others during storage. The head is attached using the Rotband Plus system that includes a painted steel protection sleeve, wooden wedge, metal collet, metal plate, and a Torx wood screw. The fitting set and handle can be purchased separately. Now let's go split some wood with this thing. This was all well seasoned wood cut last summer that I haven't got around to splitting. All this wood was either green ash, silver maple, or black locust, all considered good splitting woods. As you can see, this maul made quick work of that small pile of wood. So if you're in need of a maul, then I would definitely recommend getting the Big Ox, as it may be the last one you ever buy. Examining the head afterwards shows just some normal wear for a splitting axe. If you want to save this label for some reason, then you probably want to remove it before using the axe. The striking portion of the maul I plan to review in a future video along with a wooden splitting wedge. Well that wraps up the review of the Ochsenkopf OX635H-3009. 
I will post a link in the description below for high resolution photos I took during this review. If you like this video, subscribe for more reviews of German brand tools.